inflammatory phase, we're no longer compensating, right? So we see the sustained maldistribution of blood to the kidneys, the skin, and the muscles. Unfortunately, we start to see a worsening of the hypoxia, and this leads to a decrease in your ATP and glucose. Now, this is your energy of your body. We know what glucose is, right? We, we resonate with it, but it's actually not our main energy source. Our main en energy source is ATP, and we have no body backup plan for ATP. We actually do have a body backup plan for glucose. It's called glycogen. Right around 1030, when you all get hangry at your hospitals, we all get hangry right around 1030. The belly starts to grow. We're like, what am I eating? Am I going to eat? I don't know. I'm starving to death. You hopefully are not going to be passing out because your liver has glycogen and it's going to go ahead and convert it into glucose and maintain your body's glucose level. So that's your body's backup plan for glucose level that starts to decrease. But ATP, there's no body backup plan. When you use it, you got to make it very quickly. And it can only be made at a certain rate and a certain speed. And in the case of emergency, very quickly, your ATP gets depleted. So for anybody who's ever had an adrenaline rush and you know you feel exhausted afterwards, yeah, that's your ATP going, I haven't had time to replenish myself. You got to give me a couple minutes. So automatically, you know, in the decompensatory phase, this animal is going to look a lot different. They're not going to appear normal. Thank you.